world's busiest international airport, time for loading and unloading each plane is short. During busy times, airlines get fined for every five minutes they stay late at the gate. Land late at the next airport, they could get fined again. All of this can add up to millions. Qatar Airways can't afford to delay either of today's flights, and duty officer Noam Manzahini's job is to make sure they both leave precisely on schedule. Uh, this is your handbags, yeah? Yeah, just put a handbag and shag now on it. But one thing always holds him up passengers with too much baggage. You have to repack your bag. You're only allowed seven kilos as hand luggage, I'm afraid, um, not 11 kilos. The strict weight limits are for a reason. Every extra kilo means extra fuel for the plane. That's why passengers are charged excess. You have 26 kilos over. Uh, what is the cost So it's 22 pounds, 27 pence a kilo. Uh -huh. And minimum, minimum I have to charge you is 10 kilos for that box. So it's going to be over 200 pounds. So this you have to leave it behind, yeah? OK. Kelly, we're just checking just, just one bag, just one suitcase, yeah? Most people don't want to pay the extra and are forced to reduce the weight of their bags before having another go at check-in. Still, if you can just take a bit, just a few things out again. But some try a different tactic. They know Nooman can't make the plane late. So if they check in late, he won't have time to argue. I think these people, they wait until the last minute and then they're trying to gonna come back to the check-in because towards that stage, we should be getting prepared to close the flights. So they will think we will probably let them get away with the excessive baggage. But unfortunately, Qatar Airways does not tolerate this. As flight delays cost serious money, Nooman needs passengers to make up their minds as quickly as possible. If I delay here for another 10 minutes, which I'm not going to anyway, they're going to arrive late to the gate, which will result in the delay of the flight. This is all why we are under pressure to close it on time. He knows every trick in the book, and as check-in is about to close, he gives passengers the choice. Pay or stay. And you have 39 kilos overweight, OK? You have one minute or two minutes to make a decision, and that's going to cost you over £400. Uh, in two minutes, if you don't give me a decision... OK, sorry, you're not going to be travelling, madam. If you're not willing to pay or you're not willing to leave bags behind, this is the only two options I can give at the moment. As Nooman's first flight leaves on time, he's heading back to check-in for the evening flight and dealing with another load of people's baggage.